Hey, 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 Vern. Now, how they knew what this was, you know? How did they know? Is there writing that spoke of this? How did they know? Destroyed by the communist regime. What a surprise. What a waste. What a waste. You know, the thing with hate is it can never be satisfied and it can never be sustained. And you see that throughout history of all the hateful people and empires that have not maintained their stature. They all vanished, all of them. So if you're into hate, you cannot be sustained. I promise you that. Yeah, they had no respect for the ancient sites. Somebody had commented with the communist era garbage. I agree, I agree. All right, so we're gonna walk where the ancients walked. The ancient of days. Of course, they didn't walk through the walls like we are, but this looks like to be an opening right here. I really wish there was more of this here. stones back in there. I guess it was pretty big here. where we were. So a lot of the churches came on the scene in the 400s. That seemed to be a common theme. Those are some big blocks. They probably came from that quarry that I was showing you earlier. Why this is covered? There must be something in here that's pretty special. Maybe something part of the church. Maybe some writing, maybe a mosaic. Must be something special. It's part of another pillar there. God, the first few pillars I've seen. So few pillars in here. This was an important platform. See it? Where's the rest of that, right? Where's the rest of that? The bees are coming out now. Starting to do their job. That's great to see. I really feel like spring is here. Spring has sprung. You know, I'd like to see something that says, Hi, I'm a church. Welcome. Instead of seeing this crap. Uh, I hate seeing these bunkers. It was interesting and cool at first, but now that I see they built them into these ancient sites. What a tragedy. It's really too bad. Regardless of what you believe, this history is part of everybody. It's part of my heritage. It's part of your heritage. Our ancestors came through these parts, intermingled, and went to other parts, and intermingled and went to other parts thousands of years. Hell, jeez. Another bunkered door, I'm certain of. Yeah. So I was reading the other day that there's only maybe a 1% difference in between the populations. That's not enough to give us our own unique identity as a tribe. 
what they've kind of come to conclude is that we've all been one giant scrambled egg. You can hate the other scrambled eggs, but those other scrambled eggs contribute to your history, your family's history. And there's no denying that. <laughs> so when I see these sights and the angers that have flared up over the years and what it took to destroy things, I think they just destroyed themselves. They destroyed the past that we could have learned from. And their grandkids will suffer more than they will ever gain. And that's the tragedy. You know, I don't believe in seeing pagan temples, but I'd rather see it. I wonder why I disagree with it and not see it at all. And maybe that goes the same for you with other religious sites or ethnic sites. It's all a part of us, whether we like it or not. Our relatives didn't get a choice to come here and exist, but they had to live, and we're no different. I haven't seen that guy. <laughs> it's always there on the side of caution. If you don't know, you don't know. So we're still going up. A little flat spot here. See all kinds of pieces of rock and brick and whatever. Evidence of a past. Everything that's brown or brownish orange, that was a clay, a piece of clay something. Pottery, bricks. I didn't see a sign to come down to this spot. And I just kind of found this by happenstance, just walking toward this flat area. But I'll show you what I see once I got to the flat area. That was their theater. This great overlook. The great acoustics with that angled curved wall. See it? Totally cool. So you would have had to walk down this way in your toga. There he is, looking for life. Looks like he's come up here to think, so that's good. And we're going down to think. At least the bunker got used for something. Yeah, so if Grandma had to come up here to watch a play, that would have been a little bit of work for her. But I suppose if she had to walk that big road coming in and out of town, the legs probably would have been pretty good. <laughs> All right, so I'll give you a little back shot. So you can see a little bit of a wall. Even here, they had a wall. They're worried about people coming up these steep cliffs, though. I wouldn't have tried it. Looks like it's part of the wall here that's kind of missing. site you know that's what's really interesting there's a lack of any columns any big blocks stacked on top of each other so where did that all go did that get parted out did that get buried is it still under the dirt is that why a lot of these places were hard to find over the centuries and how did they find this in this hillside it was kind of random for me to just kind of take a left and come down to this point. I didn't see a sign that said, go this, this way here. You know, how did they find this site when it was all overgrown? All right, so you can see evidence of a perimeter here. They've got these big stones, these fancy stones that were quarried out and brought up here. It's kind of a flat area up here. So is this the continuation of the wall, this ridge? Look at this cliffside view here. This is just totally off the hook. You know, when you came up here, you really came up here. This was no joke. And I'm sure you felt fairly safe being up here too. It was an easy 
easy place to protect. What a cool sight. Let's see if we can see anything in the strata here. There's just not much here. It's almost like they must have carted a lot of this stuff out of here. The pillars and the blocks that were here at one point. Look at this stone. There again, look at how they etched it for traction. See the, see the lines? Very cool. That was a walkway. I spent some time making this wall. Usually anything that's of a lot of brick is a pretty important wall. There's some columns in here. They had a trough. What was the trough for? Do I dare ask? What is that for? Why would you need a trough? Look at that stone that they placed in there to walk over the top. Look at how they fit it in there. Why did you need that? I'm still not sure. In Ephesus, I think I read that there was a trough where the band would be in, but that's not, this is only a couple feet wide, if that. Look at this wreath on this column here. This is really prominent. There's not much left here, but what is left is pretty cool. Look at that, look at the time that took to make. This pit was open. Like the other opening, it was dug all the way down. But what was that for, right? Did they let some animals come up through that? I don't know. I just don't know. And where did the seating begin? Was this the first row? Was this still part of the stage? Well, it's hard to tell. stones. Why was that sticking out there on the end of the stone? What was that for? These are fitting pretty good too. So whatever was here I think has been taken away. I guess. If they were to poke into this hillside here they're gonna find some remains here from some conquerors that didn't like what was here. I've got a feeling some of this stuff got pushed on this hill. Because if you're angry and you're just kind of a jerk, that's the fastest way to get rid of things. Roll it down this hill. So if they were to dig into this hill, I think they're gonna find some of this. What was left anyway. So what I find is odd. Why they left these stones here, which are at the bottom, which should have been the easiest ones to grab and take. Instead, these ones are gone. Were these a smaller stone? Were they used people's houses? Were they easier to pick up and move? Were these the seating stones, these flat ones, that they just kind of placed on top of the rocks and then stacked up behind? That looks to be two levels, right? You got the bottom level and then the step level, and there might have been another level on top at one point also. That's a pretty good selfie. In an ancient Roman temple, pretty cool. So what did go on in this place? Was this a place where good things happened, where they taught people, they did plays? Was it a place where things weren't so good? And that I do not know yet. So if we look here at these stones, we can see where the main seating area was. See the staggering of the stones? You can see how the seating area went up. All right, so we're walking the last part of this ridge.
whatever's here is under the ground. So like this looks to be a site up here. Maybe some partial building pieces. Erect a building. All right, looks to be their floor. Oh, they had a great view up here too. Hmm. That's kind of an interesting stone right there. Buildings here. Yeah. A lot of work yet to be done. A lot of work yet to be done. Now, this is where I'd love to be an archaeologist, come up here and start poking around. Even up on that hillside up there, seems to be more going on. So how far did the city wall go? Was it all the way around this? This was a pretty big site if it did. Have a big city wall that encompassed this big thing. Oh, this is kind of terrorist stuff down here. I wonder what this is all about. Look at these giant blocks. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Look at all the bunkers in the hillside too. One, two, three, four. Wow, this was an elaborate building here. Look at that. Wow, right on the edge. That's that's really something. Look at that. That's really something. Wow. Look at this place. This is the most prominent thing that I've seen. It's got some pillars in here too. This is really cool. Wow. House with two peristyles. Yeah, look in the hillside too. Look at all the rocks and bricks and things that are laying in there. Half the city has been probably pushed down this hill. Construct this on this hill and have this amazing cornerstone view. That's epic. It's just too cool. Look at these columns here. They're octagonal, just like the other one that was up at the top. Now, why are they octagonal instead of round? Is it just the fancy design of the week? Oh. All right. Uh, they must have mosaics in here, otherwise they wouldn't have all this covered up. Oh, it'd be neat to see that. Whatever's under there. That would have been cool to see. Hmm. What a cool place, though, you guys. What a cool place. Look 
can at least get down to here. They made a stairway. Well, I'm glad there's somebody up here. Now, the thing is, you just don't know who is up here. That's the, oh, the stairway doesn't look like it's too good either. Uh, let's go down this way. What I was saying is you just don't know who these people are. It's always error on the side of caution when you're by yourself. All right, that's kind of strange. That's a little squared off opening. There again, they had some big blocks in here. This was a big deal place here. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty impressive. To make a wall is impressive, but to make a wall up here, way up here, that really impresses me. It looks pretty nice too. There's their opening. See it notch so the doorway would fold inward and rest up against this notch is what it looks like here, right there. Possibly. <laughs> Without seeing the rest of the arch, it's hard to say. Wow, this is really cool, this site. You know, and why were these stones left and the other ones taken? That's really a mystery, isn't it? Why was the stadium taken apart, but this wasn't? Were these stones just too big to move? And look at the gaps in these two. This one's obviously shifted, but look at this. Look at that. You guys, I mean, even today, they try to make that. Look at this piece here. Look at that, guys. I couldn't put a butter knife in between that. Maybe the very tip of it, but that's it. And then even to do it along this, this angle here. <laughs> Look at that. And then they notched it to kind of hold it together. That's really crazy. So if you look at the way they notched it, they kind of angled everything to hold it together. That's pretty cool. All right, and then there's this last room here. These last sets of rooms, I guess. They each had their own little opening. steep so I guess we'll go up this way and check the last little bit looks like a good place to sit catch my breath look out over this valley again there's a little bit more to the right here and that might be the end of this ridge all right so now why are these rocks painted hmm Yeah, this place is a real jigsaw puzzle. It's not even really been opened up. Yeah, now we're heading to the bunker zone. So they put the bunkers at the strategic locations on the high points, overlooking areas. Same place they would put the old towns and cities. That was the advantage. It's really no different today. No different today. Looks to be part of a bunker. It's too much concrete for it to not be. I don't know. Unless my eyes are deceiving me. Let's look. No, this is ancient, I guess. Or is it? Huh? No, it's not ancient. Let's get a view up here. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see what it would have been like if your house was up here thousands and thousands of years ago. That's really something, you guys. Lift up. All right, moving right along. I don't know when this ridge ends. <laughs> Maybe it keeps going on. Not really sure. I'm not gonna go forever here, but I will go a little bit longer. Let's see where this ends. What is that? Is that a pillar? 
That looks to be something up there. Huh. Interesting. I suppose we'll look up here. Now that's all concrete, right? These bees are buzzing me here pretty good. Well, that's all concrete. Okay, it's got a reinforced steel in it, so I know it's not old. Looks to be some kind of a survey marker. Not really sure. So the end of the ridge is up there. Not too much farther. All right, so it really helps to talk to people. And I wanted to put the drone up. And so I went down and I asked him, I said, where are all the people? There's nobody else here. And he just kind of looked down and, and I told him, I said, would you like me to bring some people here? I said, let me put my drone up and we can fix that. So if you guys see this video, share it. I would like people to learn about this culture, this history, because this is a part of all of us and it deserves to be seen. It deserves a lot of recognition. And if it gets popular, then these sites will get a bigger budget. They can explore these ruins, dig up things and find more of the past that will connect us to our ancestors. So it's really, it's a win-win thing. So that's what I'm asking you guys. I, I'm fortunate, I'm gonna pop that drone up and hopefully I can make a really cool video to inspire you guys, okay? So we're heading back and a fun time was had by all. Now, one thing that I've noticed when I meet Albanians, they ask me, where are you from? And I tell them I'm from the United States. And they're like, oh, wow, good place, good place. And they tell me they really want to go to America. That's their dream, to go to the United States. And I think that's cool. And I think that's honorable. But I also think something else. When I see this amazing country with these amazing hills, streams that are pristine, they're clear. You can see right down to the bottom, like they're from the Garden of Eden. I see ocean that I've never seen so clear and green and beautiful in my life. And I think, you wanna go to the US? You wanna go there? <laughs> you know, and it's kinda like, are you sure? Have you been to the US? Have you seen our rivers? Have you seen the ocean? Can you see the bottom when you're at the ocean and at the rivers? You know, I can answer that question. No, you can't. I don't know that I've even seen a very clear stream back there. I only hear stories of the streams being full of fish years ago and being very beautiful, but they've been ruined. Logging and all sorts of things have kind of ruined our, our streams. And here, they're not ruined. They're amazing, they're incredible. And today, it was neat to meet a guy that ran the Phoenix site and he loves Albania. And I'm hoping in my heart, more people will love Albania. And the best of the Albanians will stay here and make this incredible, make this your America, make this your nest egg, your heart. And it will be that way if you want it. But if the best of the best in Albania leave, then how will Albania ever be as great? So that's my best advice to you guys. And hopefully the wind isn't too bad. So I guess the best advice I have is America didn't just make itself magical. What made America great was people that fought for what they believed in and they helped to make America great. And it had people that wanted that to be their dream and they made it come true because they worked hard and they fought for that. And Albania is no different, but you have to love where you are, want what you have and see that with hard work, anything is possible anything is possible here and I would start if it were me I would start with the tourism end because there's so much here to offer the people in tourism it's insane all right guys so thanks for watching if you haven't please subscribe already all right and we'll go another trek so here's their water source it's coming out of this area right here it's coming out really strong so they had a good water source but it was right over here